Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Schooner or Schooner Relator and one of the questions that I was asked in the Facebook group this week is how to add values to your monster tokens on Roll20 so that you don't have to keep flipping through your source material or book or whatever you may have to keep track of what monsters you're using. So in this tutorial I will be showing you how to do that. Thank you. First, we're going to go to our images tab um, and search whatever monster we may be looking for. For these purposes, I'll use a goblin. Now at the beginning, there'll be the premium assets you have to pay for, but again, there are um, from the web tokens you can use. So let's use this one. We'll just drag it to our map and click on it. And the settings bar, if you open that, you can name your token, um, you can put goblin one or the name if they have a name and you can control who it's controlled by in bar one you can put armor class bar two hit points bar three speed um if you scroll down on this page there are notes that will only be visible to you you can make notes about immunities or resistances or if they're bigger monsters legendary actions layer actions stuff like that can be kept here um And we'll save those changes and so now i mean you'll have to click on the settings to see your gm notes but you should be able to see those easy numbers just on the top um and if you go to the um square you can choose gm info overlay and this is a layer just for you you can add text you can add things like that you can even add tokens so if we go back to our pictures tab um, we don't have to use pictures from the web. You can upload circles to use as tokens. So, for example, if we'll just put a, a circle over here, this is now on your layer, so only you can see this. You can do the same thing as with the goblin, um, with the armor class and the hit points and the speed and the notes like that, but if it's on the GM layer, then you are the only one that can see it. So if you want to make a token simply for the purposes of tracking stats about a monster that your players won't see, you definitely can do that. If you want to do this in order to prepare for um, an ambush and have it on this layer until absolutely necessary, then you can do that as well. I put some simple numbers in here to show and um, you can move it around just like a regular token, but if you want to move it to the token layer, you'll have to go to layer and move it from GM layer to token layer. So again, this can be used for simple note keeping for yourself that your players won't be able to see, or even for setting up an ambush where these tokens won't appear until characters are in a specific room. Um, something like that you can use this for. So there is how you add values to your monster tokens on Roll20. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, please leave a comment below if you did. Thank you so much.